Have you ever wondered why poverty persists even in the world's wealthiest nations? Right now, millions of people across the globe are grappling with this harsh reality. Despite the abundance of wealth and resources, poverty remains a stark and persistent challenge. It's not just about money, it's about a lack of opportunities, limited access to education and systemic inequalities that perpetuate the cycle of poverty. Living on a low income isn't just about making ends meet, it's about dealing with a multitude of stresses that affect every aspect of life, from health to housing, from education to employment. And let's not forget the societal misconceptions about poverty, the stigma attached to being poor that often leads to isolation and despair. But here's the thing, poverty is not a choice, it's a circumstance, often beyond an individual's control. Yet, can we choose to break its chains? Can we rise above the limitations imposed by poverty? Let's explore that together. Education and skill development, the first steps to breaking the poverty cycle. Let's unpack this together. Picture a world where everyone has equal access to knowledge and skills. This world is not as far-fetched as it may seem. Education and skill development are foundational aspects of breaking free from the chains of poverty. They serve as the springboard to higher incomes, better job opportunities, and ultimately, economic freedom. But how does this work, you ask? Well, in today's labor market, the demand for skilled workers is increasing. Industries are evolving rapidly, and with that comes the need for workers who can keep pace. This means that those with the right skills have a better shot at securing stable, well-paying jobs. Now let's talk about education. Formal education, be it high school or college, equips individuals with a broad set of skills and knowledge. It opens doors to a wide array of career paths, but the price tag can be high, and that's where vocational training comes in. Vocational training provides an affordable and practical alternative. It focuses on equipping learners with the specific skills needed for a particular job. Think of it as a direct route to employment. It could be anything from learning to code, becoming a certified electrician, or even mastering the art of culinary cuisine. But what about the cost? There are numerous organizations and initiatives that offer affordable or even free education and training. Online platforms like Coursera and Khan Academy provide access to quality education at little to no cost. Local community colleges often offer low-cost vocational programs. Nonprofits and government initiatives offer scholarships and grants to those who need them most. So whether it's through a degree, a certificate, or an online course, acquiring education and skills is more accessible than ever before. It's about finding the right fit for you and taking that first step. Education is not just a pathway to employment. It's a pathway out of poverty. It's time to harness the power of knowledge, to learn, to grow, and to break free from the cycle of poverty. It all starts with education and skill development. Money isn't everything, but understanding it can change everything. So, let's talk about financial literacy. A term that might sound intimidating, but it's essentially about knowing how to manage your money. It's the difference between living paycheck to paycheck and having a safety net. It's the distinction between feeling overwhelmed by financial obligations and feeling empowered to take control. First up, we have budgeting. Think of a budget as your financial roadmap, showing you where your money is coming from, where it's going, and most importantly, how you can direct it to serve your needs best. It's about knowing your income and expenses and making informed decisions to avoid falling into debt. Next, we have saving. This is about putting aside a small portion of your income regularly. It might not seem like much in the beginning, but over time it adds up. It's your shield against unexpected expenses or emergencies. It's also the foundation for long-term financial goals like buying a house or planning for retirement. Then we come to investing. Now, this might sound like something only the rich do, but that's not the case. Investing is about growing your money over time. It's about letting your money work for you. It could be as simple as starting with a savings account that earns interest, or exploring other options like stocks, bonds, or mutual funds. And where can you learn all of this? There are numerous resources available, often free of charge. Many community organizations offer workshops or online courses on financial literacy. Websites, podcasts, and books on personal finance abound. The key is to start learning and keep learning. Mastering Money Matters isn't about becoming a millionaire overnight. It's about understanding how money works and making it work for you. It's about making informed decisions that lead to financial stability and independence. Remember, wealth isn't just about having a lot of money. It's about having financial security, peace of mind, and the freedom to live the life you want. Financial literacy is the key to unlocking a secure financial future. No man is an island, especially when it comes to overcoming poverty. 
This age-old saying reminds us that we are not alone in our struggles. We live in a society that has resources available to help us navigate and overcome life's challenges. Consider community resources, for instance. These are typically non-profit organizations or public services designed to provide immediate relief to those in need. They can range from food banks which provide free or reduced cost food, to housing assistance programs that offer affordable housing options. Some organizations even provide educational grants, which can be a game changer for those looking to improve their skills or pursue higher education. In addition to these community resources, there are also government programs aimed at supporting low-income individuals and families. These programs are often comprehensive, covering various aspects of life. There's healthcare, for instance, which ensures that everyone, regardless of their income, has access to essential medical services. Then there are food stamps, designed to supplement the food budget of families in need, ensuring they have access to nutritious food. For those with children, childcare subsidies can be a lifeline. These programs help cover the cost of childcare, enabling parents to work or pursue education while knowing their children are in safe hands. And let's not forget about employment services. Many communities and governments offer job centers or online resources that help individuals find stable employment that matches their skills. These resources can be invaluable in finding jobs that offer growth potential, a crucial factor in breaking the chains of poverty. But remember, these resources and programs are not handouts. They are tools designed to provide a helping hand, a stepping stone on your journey to financial independence. They are there to be harnessed, to be used strategically to support your long-term goals. So, whether you're navigating the stormy seas of financial hardship or know someone who is, remember this. Help is out there, it's up to us to reach out and grab it. Overcoming poverty requires more than just practical steps, it requires a change in mindset. This journey, this battle against poverty, is as much an emotional and psychological endeavor as it is financial. And at the heart of this mental shift are three key elements, goal setting, motivation, and openness to opportunities. Let's start with goal setting. It's easy to think, I want to get out of poverty, but what does that mean exactly? It's crucial to break down this broad goal into smaller achievable targets. Maybe it's saving a certain amount every month or completing a vocational course. These smaller goals, these stepping stones, provide a clear path towards the larger objective. Next, we have motivation. It's not enough to just set goals, we need to remain committed to them, and that's where motivation comes in. The road out of poverty is often long and arduous, and it's easy to lose hope along the way. But remember, every successful person has faced obstacles and setbacks. It's the ability to stay motivated, to keep pushing, that separates those who overcome poverty from those who remain trapped in it. Finally, being open to opportunities. Sometimes opportunities come knocking in the most unexpected ways, and in the most unexpected places. It could be a chance to learn a new skill, a job opening, or even a chance to relocate for better prospects. Being open to these opportunities and having the courage to seize them can dramatically accelerate your journey out of poverty. Take the story of Sarah, for instance. From a single mother struggling to make ends meet, she is now a successful entrepreneur. Her journey was not easy, but she set clear goals, stayed motivated despite numerous setbacks, and grabbed opportunities when they presented themselves. Sarah's story is a testament to the power of a positive and proactive mindset in breaking the chains of poverty. The journey out of poverty begins with a single step, and that step is believing it's possible. Remember, poverty is not a life sentence, it's a situation, and situations can be changed especially when we shift our mindset. Breaking the chains of poverty is a journey, not a destination. As we've navigated through this discussion, it's clear that empowering oneself through education and skill development is a crucial first step. Coupled with mastering your finances, this knowledge can become a tool to elevate your circumstances and steer you towards prosperity. Harnessing resources around you, whether they're community offerings, government programs, or employment opportunities, can provide tangible support as you journey out of poverty. Yet the most potent resource resides within you, your mindset. A positive, proactive attitude can be the catalyst to transform your life, setting you on a path to financial stability. Remember, small steps lead to big changes. Start your journey today and keep moving forward one step at a time. And if you found value in this video, please subscribe, like, share, and comment. Don't forget to hit the bell for notifications on future content. Together we can break the chains of poverty.